Here's how to make a large framed chalkboard. I started with two eight foot long alder boards that were each three and a half inches wide. I measured and marked the locations of the 45 degree miter cuts. At the miter saw, I cut the miters into one side of each board. Make sure your saw is set to exactly 45 degrees or you will have gaps in your miters. Just as important as cutting exactly 45 degree angles is cutting each pair of opposing sides of the frame to exactly equal lengths. So I clamped the top and bottom together before cutting to make sure they were identical. Then I did the same thing for the left and right side pieces. I used a trim router with a straight cut bit to make a half inch rabbit in the back inside edge of each piece. This will form a recess for the chalkboard to rest inside. I drilled pocket holes in the ends of the top and bottom pieces of the frame. This will provide some reinforcement of the joint, but it will also make glue up easier since the screws will provide clamping pressure. I then applied yellow wood glue and drove pocket screws into each corner. This is three quarter inch thick hardwood, so I used one and a quarter inch fine thread pocket screws. For the chalkboard backing, I used quarter inch plywood. I measured the dimensions from the edges of the rabbits in the frame and then cut the plywood to size with a track saw. You could also use a table saw or a circular saw for these cuts if you don't have a track saw. I was originally going to just use the plywood as the backing for the chalkboard, but as I applied the paint I could still see the grain of the plywood through the paint. This wouldn't have happened if I had primed the plywood first, but there were also significant gouges in the wood. I decided to use contact cement to adhere a layer of poly wall to the plywood and paint over that. Poly wall is meant to protect bathroom walls from moisture and can be found at most home stores. After the contact cement set up, I used a utility knife to trim the poly wall flush with the plywood. I applied two layers of the chalkboard paint with a foam roller, sanding between coats with 220 grit sandpaper. I applied a third coat with a plastic scraper. I cut a strip of wood to the exact width of the frame and used that to mark the locations of the studs in the wall where the chalkboard will hang. Then I transferred those marks to the back of the frame itself. I used a half inch Forzner bit to drill starter holes for a keyhole router bit into the back of the frame. With the keyhole bit in my router, I set up stop blocks on each side of the router. In combination with the guide on the router, this ensures that the bit will not wander side to side and that each keyhole will be exactly the same height. This is essential for the chalkboard to hang straight and level. I finish the frame with Minwax Dark Walnut Wood Stain and Wipe On Polyurethane.
I drilled and countersunk two holes through the frame to connect a drawer pull. I installed the drawer pull upside down to act as a chalk holder. I positioned the chalkboard in place and fastened it with brad nails. And the final step is to hang it up and use it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thanks.